livelihoods, who've been damaged and destroyed. And think about this. All that area they got to plow up, they can't do it now because they don't know how many bodies are there. They don't know what's left. Imagine being a mom or dad, wondering where your child is. Imagine being a husband or wife, a mother or father. It's really tough stuff. Almost 500 federal personnel have been deployed to Maui to help communities and survivors get back on their feet. FEMA, search and rescue teams are sifting through the ashes in that five-mile area that you've seen on television has been burned. It's painstaking work. It takes time. And it's nerve-wracking. Most of the debris can't be removed until it's done. My wife Jill and I are going to travel to Hawaii as soon as we can. That's what I've been talking to the governor about. I don't want to get in the way. I've been to too many disaster areas, but I want to go make sure we got everything they need. I want to be sure we don't disrupt the ongoing recovery efforts. FEMA Administrator Griswold, who's the best we ever had, I think, was on the ground this weekend. I just talked to her. She's back in the States. I have directed her to uh, streamline the process as quickly as possible.